Hello and good morning. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here with Heather at the Black Point Wildlife Drive. This is on Merritt Island near Titusville, Florida and it is a fantastic place for bird photography. We're here just a few minutes after sunrise. We got golden hour light and lots of birds so I need to put this camera down and pick up the other one and get to shooting. Here we are. Look at that beautiful golden hour light. We got there just shortly after sunrise and in the first area where we did our photography, we had great sun angle. So we had beautiful golden hour light and also the, the water was very calm. So we got some really nice reflections early in the morning. And a lot of times we got the birds catching fish. This one is tossing a fish and getting ready to swallow it. Most of the birds that we photographed were these beautiful snowy egret and they have a nickname of golden slippers and you can see how they got that nickname in this shot and here's another bird that we photographed in this area this is a tricolored heron i think it's just slightly sub-adult the adults have red eyes i believe this is a female boat-tailed grackle this is a really common bird in florida if you stop at most of the rest stops in florida along the highway you'll see these here's another reflection shot of a beautiful snowy egret with some plants causing some foreground bokeh. And here is a snowy egret that has flown and tried to catch a fish. You can see it's just come out of the water and it has water coming off of its feet. And here is another snowy egret. What they do is they fly down to the water and drag their feet and look for fish. And then they'll dip their head in the water and try to catch one. And in this photograph, this snowy egret has caught a minnow. You can see just a tiny little minnow in its beak that it's just about to flip and catch. And here is another example of the beautiful golden hour light that we had that morning. I just love those beautiful snowy egrets. And now finally, here are some of Heather's photos. And she always does just a fantastic job with her colors. Her photos always have really great color and it's because she does a great job with her edits. And here is a reflection shot, a little bit of waves in the pool on that shot. And this I believe is that same slightly sub-adult tricolored hair and just beautiful golden hour light on this bird. And here is another beautiful snowy egret. You know, I think the snowy egret may be my favorite of all the wading birds right now. And here's another snowy egret shot that Heather got, two in the same shot. The one in the front doesn't have a fish, but the one in the back does have a fish in its beak so it had a successful fishing attempt and i love the reflection of the sky in these photos the water is not that color but that's the water reflecting the sky above because it was almost cloud free on this particular morning and here's another beautiful snowy egret as it's fishing there what a beautiful place with lots and lots of beautiful birds so far main thing that we're seeing is snowy egret and some tricolored. And now we are back to some of my shots. Here's another one of the beautiful snowy egrets as it is fishing there in that little pool that was right by the entrance. And here is another one doing the same. Just a joy to watch them do that. And they would dip their head into the water. And here's an example. This one has dipped its head into the water and it's just pulled its head back out. And you can see that it has caught a minnow. Isn't that an amazing fishing technique that these beautiful snowy egrets have? And I just love the feathers on these beautiful birds. You know, they have great white eyes and black beaks and yellow feet, and they're just so beautiful. It's hard to even describe, but you can take a look and see for yourself how beautiful they are. Here's one that was flying right at me doing some fishing, and it was successful. As you can see, there is a minnow in its beak as it's still making its way across the water. And by now it looks like it's already swallowed it and it's still coming towards me, dragging its golden slippers. Here's one that is kind of standing somewhat stationary. It's uh, maybe kind of walking across to see if there's any minnows to catch. And here it is continuing to do the same. Just beautiful when they have their wings out like that, especially with the golden hour light on them. And in this one, in the background, is a great egret, which is much larger than the snowy egret. And in my opinion, it's not as beautiful. Maybe it is in breeding plumage. And here is one of Heather's shots. And look at there, she has one with a minnow in its mouth. Just an amazing shot that Heather got. 
And here is another one of Heather's shots, and this one has a minnow in its mouth as well. She did a really great job of catching the snowy egrets while they had a fish in their mouth. Look, here's another one of Heather's shots and another snowy egret with a minnow. Amazing. What a beautiful bird, and Heather did a great job capturing them. And here's another one with a minnow in its mouth. And look at the feathers on the back of its head and the upper part of its neck. Just amazing. What a beautiful bird. Doesn't look like this one has a fish. Maybe she didn't mean to take this picture. Just kidding. It's a beautiful shot with or without a fish. And here is another one of Heather's shots. And this one also has a minnow. She did a great job catching beautiful positions of the birds while they also had a fish. This little area right here by the entrance is awesome. There's a little pool right here and it's surrounded by snowy egrets and they're all flying across and dragging their feet on the water trying to catch minnows. It's really cool. The light was really interesting that morning. There was warm light if the bird was in the sun, but if they were in the shade, the light was really cool. And sometimes you'd get a mixture of light. And I like that combination when you have warm and cool areas in the same photo. And here's an example of that. This bird had a lot of warm light down its center, but its wings were in really cool light. And I just love the wing position. And here's one dragging its feet and it looks like it's just dipped its head and now it is about to swallow the minnow that it has captured. In this next shot, the egret looks like it's dancing its way across the water. Just an amazing fishing technique that these birds have developed. I noticed the tricolored were fishing this way as well. And here's another one that has nice warm light on it. And you can see the shadow of its head and the fish in its mouth on its wing. And this is a male boat-tailed grackle. Earlier in the video, I had a photograph of a female boat-tailed grackle. Well, this one is a male. Now we're back to some of Heather's shots, another beautiful snowy egret there as it's dragging its feet and doing some fishing. Just great light. I can't say enough how great the light was that morning and how lucky we were to find such a small area that had so many birds and so much great activity to photograph. Look at the feathers on the back of this one's head and Heather has caught another one with a fish in its mouth. Just amazing the morning that we were having. I believe this one has a fish as well and the wing position is fantastic. And I believe she made her last couple of photos of some of the birds up in the vegetation that was near the water there on Merritt Island at the Black Point Wildlife Drive where we had a great morning photographing snowy egret at the first pull off. All right, let's get an idea of where this place is. Right here is the state of Florida. You can see Orlando, Disney World's right around in here. Well, Merritt Island is over here. It's, a, it's the largest barrier island. And it's famous for things like NASA. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building, and uh, which is really famous. Saturn V's and stuff are there. And that's where the space shuttles are put together. Here's a couple of the launch pads that take you to the moon or launch space shuttles. And uh, right over here is where the space shuttle lands. So all this is on Merritt Island. Well, that's where we were today as well, except for we were over here on the Black Point Wildlife Drive. And this entire video was shot at the very beginning of the Black Point Wildlife Drive. We did this whole video just right here in this little area where the Black Point Wildlife Drive starts. And it was getting to be too long to be just one video, so I decided to put all of the rest of our Black Point shots in a second video. So make sure and tune into that one because we've just scratched the surface. Right here is where we were, but this thing we photographed all the way down this road. Let me put it in the middle. All the way down this road and around all this and over here and way up there and all over here and we even went all the way down to here for a little while and then over here there's not much to see so episode one which you've just watched is from right here and episode two which will be the next video on the channel is all the rest and although it's not uh, a single hot spot like today's video was 
there's much more variety because today's video just had two or three species. The, the next video is going to have way more than that. So make sure and tune in. Thanks for watching and subscribe and hit the bell. Phil Thatch signing off from the Black Point Wildlife Drive. Bye-bye.